my first question to you is, do people think differently about complex work? I mean, you've been studying outsourcing for many, many years. Is it complex work that gets outsourced or is it simple work that gets outsourced? So thank you for having me, Abhijit. Um, it's very nice talking to you folks. Um, actually, the answer is a little bit more complex. So it's not, it's, it's both more interesting and less simple than the way the press has been talking about complex and simple. Complexity, like beauty, lies in the eyes of the beholder. What do I mean by that? If you go and ask managers in the United States, UK, and their counterparts in Singapore, China, and India, what kind of information work is complex, right? Managers in the West, that is UK and US, will tell you mathematical formulation, number crunching, algorithmic analysis, large data set handling, quantitative analysis is highly complex. But they will tell you that persuasion, disambiguation, sensing the context, interpretation, judgment are pretty simple. We can do this. If you now go to China, Singapore, and India and ask managers of companies, provider companies that offer these services, what is complex, they will tell you persuasion, disambiguation, judgment, interpretation, selling, sensing the context. These are really difficult things to do, and we don't even want to enter these markets. They are fraught with dangers, hazards of poor quality work. But you want to do number crunching, quantitative analysis, algorithmic analysis, bring it on. It's really a piece of cake. So I was actually teaching in Indian School of Business in 2005, 2004, and it's a, it's a small anecdote I will tell you to set this up. And I was, my class around the time placements were going on. And it was the last day of class and some people are looking a little glum and some people were very happy. So I just thought I'll talk to the guys who were happy. I didn't want to rub salt on the wounds of people that were looking glum. I said, so what jobs have we got? And one of them puts up his hand and say, I'm going to be a technical analyst for an investment bank. Another guy said, I'm going to be doing equity analysis. Another guy said, I'm going to be working in, in the knowledge back office research for McKinsey. I said, wow, congratulations. Those are all great jobs. And one of them said, but you know, Raj, he pointed to one of my top students and so was looking kind of glum and said, do you know what kind of a job he's got? and said, I think you should, really shouldn't be running, rubbing salt into his wounds. And he says, no, no, professor, just ask him. So Raj kind of looks down and says, I'm going to have to do investment banking. I said, really? He said, yes, professor, you know, they, they, didn't, they asked me to do relationship management and relationship banking. I, I wanted to do equity analysis or even fixed income analysis, but they wouldn't let me do it. I said, man, you should be celebrating this. You should, like, my students at Wharton, They'd be having a party if an investment banking relationship management job came, and whereas you want to do quant work, he said, yeah, you know, I don't want to wear the suit and you know, the cheese and white wine deal. That doesn't work for me. And then I asked a few others who had been looking glum, and it turned out that they had actually got management consulting and investment banking jobs, but client-facing marketing sales jobs, the sort of soft skill jobs, they were glum not because it's not a good career, but they'd lost the respect of their peers. And the way that these guys get respected is by showcasing their quant skills, doing tough technical stuff. That struck me as there's something going on here. The press is missing it when they say simple and, and, and complex and low-end jobs and high-end jobs. There's something else going on here. So with a PhD student of mine, who's now a faculty in a business school herself, we started collecting data about perceptions of complexity. So we asked companies um, in US, UK, and Singapore, China, and India, people that were doing the same job, managers, we took the description of the task and asked them to rate the task on a one to seven scale. One being not at all complex, seven being highly complex. This is known as a Likert scale and analyzing this used on responses, there are some very simple, well-known statistical techniques that you can use. So for 196 different processes spanning industries such as financial services, marketing, telecom, bioinformatics, uh, pharmaceutical manufacturing, supply chain. So a wide array of services. We went and asked 196 different services we collected where we could make an apples-to-apple -apple comparison. And managers were managing the identical work we went and asked them for their perceptions of complexity. Lo and behold, what we find is repeatedly, at very high statistical confidence levels, we find that whenever work called for quantitative data handling, number crunching, 
anything that had to do with a lot of technical analysis, Western managers called it complex. When it called for persuasion, interpretation, judgment, context sensing, they said it's not at all complex. It was exactly the opposite in China, Singapore, and India. So we have the results actually here where the fonts in red color are the responses from China, India, and Singaporean firms. These are process one, process two, process 14, all the way to process 196. And they have given the ratings on a one to seven scale. If you look at process number two, which is actually a process in financial services, China, India, and Singapore have said it is seven, six, and seven on complexity, meaning it's very, very highly complex. UK and US say it's two on one, meaning it's very simple. If you come to process 11, it changes. US and UK say it is seven, meaning it's very highly complex, whereas China, India, and Singapore rate it as one or two, meaning it's very, very simple. So when we do the analysis at the gross level of the nation, the whole country level, it's unambiguously clear that quantitative technical work is seen as not very complex work in the provider countries, China, Singapore, and India, and seen as very complex work in US and UK. So complexity, like beauty, lies in the eye of the beholder, and we say that there is an arbitrage in perceptions of complexity. The market for complexity arbitrage is greatly understated in this discussion. And what is really going to drive the sourcing is act the market for complexity arbitrage rather than labor arbitrage.